Good evening and welcome back. It's the start of a new season and we start with who has been promoted and relegated. Obviously as ourselves, Malaga as champions, we've been promoted alongside Levante who were very much in the beginning of the season our biggest rival and were actually ahead of us at some stage. Leganes as well, another good team. Dropping down are Asasuna, Almeria and Cadiz. And as we can see, our pre-contract signings are coming in. And here is Emerson for his first conference, signing the dotted line. Good to get that right back on board. Massively improved our starting 11. And it means we've got a little bit more depth in that position too. Objectives wise, I am actually going to say we should focus on winning the league. That's a massive target to go for, but that's what I'm going to choose. And as you can see, the other player that we signed on our pre-contract agreement was Cousance, who is a centre midfield. I think he's going to be a brilliant addition. He's around about a similar level to some of the other players we've got with room to improve, but we need that strength in depth. And I think he's going to really bolster that midfield. We'll have to see how he gets on. And some good news on the transfer front. We have put in a couple of bids. Unfortunately, Backer has been declined. We're probably going to go back in for him. But we have had an acceptance for Mariba. Just over 12 million and an annual salary of one and a half. A little bit higher than we wanted to pay. But we're going to accept that now. Just looking at his stats. Got very good all-round stats. He can play in, again, multiple positions. It just gives us more strength and depth in that midfield position, which we're going to need after losing a couple of players. And some more good news. We did go back in for bid for backer, increased the annual salary a little bit, has come back and asked it for more money. We're going to accept it. His annual salary is going to be just under that 2 million mark. And our budgets, our transfer budget is going to be pretty low as well after this, but really happy with what he'll offer us in that left back position. Just to let you know, we have received an offer in for Caulfield. We are going to accept that now because we've got a little bit more cover uh, in different positions. So we've got Backer and Teixeira on the left and we've got Emerson and McDowell on the right. So happy for Caulfield to leave. And we've actually passed through a couple of weeks and I thought I'd give you an update. This is the team we're going to be going in with with our first match, which I'll, I'll show you in a moment. But here we go. So we've got Schubert, Kosanu, Omarajic, all three from last season. The new signings, Emerson, Backer, Cousins, the free agent, Herrera, Perez, Mudrick. We've got Pierre and Zergsy. That's probably going to be our first choice starting 11. We have brought in a couple of youngsters. So we've brought in Balbuena, who's a regen, and we've also brought in Ruben Castro, who I mentioned in a previous video that I used to buy him quite a lot as a regen. And it turns out in real life, he currently plays for Malaga, at least as I'm recording this. I think he's about 40 years old in real life and he's still playing for them. So I thought those two meeting up, me, I haven't bought him in almost every Pez game for the past couple of years. And the fact that I've now got Malaga, I had to go and get him. And it gives us a, a second choice centre forward. He's actually a very good second striker. He can play in the wings. Balbuena, again, a regen centre back. I thought we needed that. Alex Mariva we've brought in. He's going to potentially be first choice. We're not quite sure. They're all around the same rating. Cousins, Herrera, Vieira, Mariba. They're all of a similar sort of rating. They can all mix around in those roles. We are going to need that rotation. We actually brought a few players up from the youth squad and they've went straight out on loan. We'll get a hefty fee for those. And then when they come back in, we can either keep them if they've improved or we can sell them on. We have let Kavazovic go out on loan because he's only 61 rated, uh, rated rather. And we've brought in Balbuena who is younger than him and he's already better. So I thought, get him some experience going out on loan. If he comes back stronger and better overall, we'll probably keep him, but we'll have to wait and see. And we've got to our first match in the Spanish Division 1. And it's against Atletico Madrid. So a really, really tough match. And unfortunately, Mudrik is on a downward hour. So we've had to drop him. So we're bringing in Ruben Castro. We've actually changed him to a second striker. That's probably his best position. We'll see how that goes. But other than that, probably our first choice starting 11. Two new wing backs. Kusan's coming in midfield. Herrera dropping to defensive midfielder. But other than that, fairly standard look at Atletico Madrid they've got Mbappe in right midfield they've got Sergio Dest at right back so that right side is uh, going to be interesting to deal with but the good news is we are playing at home in our first match so it's going to be a, a great evening for the fans had such a good first season in Division 1 really happy that we got promoted very easily in our first uh, try 
made it to the final of the Copa del Rey and unfortunately lost. And we made a lot more signings than I thought we could. We had obviously those couple of players that we got in on a pre-contract agreement. No transfer fee. Couple of youngsters. And some really good bargains. And not only have we strengthened the starting 11, which I think was key, especially those wing-back areas, even though the youngsters were doing well, but Division 1 is a step up. Also fleshing out the squad. You know, we did lose a few. We had sold quite a number of players last season. Rice and Hitch were leaving. For some reason, I thought Carlson was leaving. I had it in my head that I had sold him. I haven't, but he will be leaving at some point. I love that the look of that 11. I mean, you put Mudrick in there, where Ruben Castro is, and that is a scary team. But like I say, previous years I played with Ruben Castro, he's been a, a really good player for me. And of course, maybe not so much so when he first starts, but as he progresses, he will improve quite dramatically. So excited to see how he gets on. He might he might not be as good in, in this... Uh, oh, giving away a free kick already. Or have they... No, they found me. Got away with that one. That was a sloppy start. And of course it does take place time to settle in. The team chemistry does go down and that does make a difference. It's not just a number. That's why you tend to see as you progress f through that first season, it's very tough in the first few games and then even if you don't buy any players, after about five, six games to sort of the 10 game mark, you gradually see that improvement because the team chemistry uh, gets better. Emerson really is pushing up high. It's what we want to see. Obviously, we've got to be careful because we don't want to push everyone up attacking. Oh my word, that was Castro. What a shot that was, though. A little bit unlucky. Of course, it's just going to take us time to get used to these players to see what their strengths are, because stat-wise, players can be very similar and play very differently. Uh, that's one of the things I love about pairs. And just little things like, you know, what's their favourite foot, getting used to that. Kusons is a, a left foot, I believe. And apart from playing the big two of Barcelona and Real Madrid, you couldn't really get a tougher start. And here's Ruben Castro again. He's looked a little bit dangerous so far. That's a foul, is it? Yeah, it was. Now, I haven't actually looked if any of the new signings are good free kick takers. Ooh, Cousin says. <sighs> Not a bad effort, just a little bit too powerful. That's interesting, then we've got a pretty decent free kick taker. But yeah, it was not bad, don't get me wrong. Oh, nice tackle there. And Castro's in again here. Castro, good save. One for the cameras, really, there. Let's have a quick look again. Carlos Perez playing him in. It was a little bit of a loopy ball. So it took a while to sit down. Yeah, comfortable save, though, really. And, yeah, we'll let Cousins take this, actually. With his free kick stats. I mean, we've looked solid so far. Certainly the better of the teams. You've got the likes of Mbappe and Dest. Very pacey on that right side. And here's Castro again. 
Is it a Xerxes? Couldn't quite. Uh, oh, that's poor from Xerxes. Kasha did well. Ah, oh, come on, that's not foul. He got the ball. Comfortable save. Got to be very careful though. Nice ball there from Vieira. Xerxes so didn't react. It's just that team chemistry that will come in time. It was a good pass. Yes, Cousins, he's looked dangerous as well. Oh, lovely ball to Castro. Vieira, oh, it's wide. Good play, though. And obviously, the amount of games and success we've had, we're just used to playing with a certain with certain players, certain style. We know every player inside out almost. Here's Castro. Oh, he should have shot. Try to play it to Xerxes. It was not the right option. Good interception from Herrera there. Back on the run, the first time we've seen him charge forward and he plays it through to Castro again. Castro on the ball. Kusans gets fouled there, surely. Perez, Vieira, Xerxes oh, gets tackled. That'll be a corner. Vieira, oh my word, a great corner. Got to watch out for the counter because it's nearly half time. And there it is, nil nil, but plenty of action. Stat wise, doing all the right things. Lots of possession, lots of passes, plenty of chances. Just got to be careful of the counter attack. And remember, this, if, this is Atletico Madrid, this isn't just any team. So to still be nil-nil and be very much on top is a um, good first outing in Division 1 so far. Let's hope I don't live to regret saying that. Now Castro again. Now Perez, now he runs into trouble. Here's Vieira. Cousin, Sixi, Castro. Oh, good save. And there's Perez. I thought Castro had a debut goal there. But Perez on the score sheet. Lovely play. And Zixi plays in Castro. Cuts on his right. And that's pretty much his game. Um, similar to Mudrik, I mean, not a similar player, but in terms of how he gets his goals, it's normally playing on the left, cutting inside, curling it around. That's how I tend to play with Castro. Things are looking positive, though. Big gutter when uh, Mudrik was on a downward red. Castro, no, lost the defenders back now. Now Emerson getting forward. Gets blocked. 
Go for the spectacular. Vieira. Now Vieira again. Emerson. Sixty. Oh, he's offside. It's a good save. I mean, he's not offside there. Come on. His body's behind. Well, anyway. Attack off from Emerson there. Sixty. Castro. Two nil. And it's the youngster debut. Well, could call his regen a second debut for Malaga. And Sixty getting his first assist. Nice. Nice little finish there. Lovely goal. Cool. We'll make some subs now. Change wise, we're going to bring off Vieira and put a Mariba. Harrington's going to go on the left. Roger's going to go on the right. And we're going to put uh, Ruben Castro up top, taking Xerxes and Perez off. Really solid game so far. Some good performances. Wouldn't say spectacular. Castro, I think, certainly has been the player so far. He's looked the most dangerous in the first half. He's got his goal now. Um, but even before that, I would have said, for me, man of the match. That's not... He's literally took the ball and none of the play. Anyway. Can't do anything about it. Try not to get stressed with these stupid referee decisions, which just... Yeah, they're just part of the game, but they are annoying. Good tackle from Castro. He's doing the hard work as well. Nice simple ball to Emerson. Good stuff. Emerson's been lively as well. He looks like he's really pushing himself upfield a lot. Backer seems to sit back a little bit more. That's a bad foul. We don't want an injury in the first game. I mean, that should have been a yellow. That's another terrible ball. A uh, challenge, not ball. <laughs> Castro, Houghton. I oh, saw it was Mariba there. Good ball. Mariba's first touch wasn't the best of passes. Good idea. Nice ball to Emerson. Oh, and how it nearly scores. I'm not sure how he got on the end of it. What's that? There's li <laughs> Yeah, just stupid decisions in this game <laughs> I love the game obviously you know you can see me playing it all the time oh, it's a terrible challenge again I should have played on though really should have played on I was in on goal that was not a good pass Put him off there, brought the keeper out, took a risk. Come on, let's try and get this third goal. Nice ball from Hamilton to Mariba. 
Drawing a bit of strength there. Now Cousin seems to look uh, very tidy on the ball. Castro. Ah, straight at the keeper. Nice linking up with Mariba there, though. Great header from Cosinu. Now Harrington. Can Castro get in the box? Ah, oh, it's a poor ball. You've got to do better there. Just keep it away from the goalkeeper. That's all you need to do. Mariba tidies up there. Gets the ball. Oh, again, a poor ball. Maybe a poor decision for me. Maybe I should have shot. I just thought if I could slip it across the face there. Now Herrera. Harrington. Castro again. Oh, and just wide. Good save. Castro has been so lively. What is going on there? Somehow they keep it out. And there it is, full time. Took us until the second half to get the goals, but we were dominating um, in that game. So that's why he's picking up exactly where we left off in Division 2, in Division 1 now. 63% possession, 15 shots with 10 on target, over 130 passes. And this is against Atletico Madrid, who are normally at least in the top three of the teams in Division 1 of the Spanish League. So very good going for our first game at home. Carlos Perez got man of the match. I still think Castro was absolutely amazing in that game. He should have got man of the match. Good solo performances all round. At least sixes for the starting 11, which is great. Really good all round performance though. But what a start. Our first day in Division 1. Couldn't ask for much better. Clean sheet, a win at home. New signings playing well. Really looking forward to this season. It's not going to be easy as that every game, I guarantee it. Once we start playing some of these big teams, although that was one of them, you can see Barcelona and Real Madrid both won. Thank you very much for joining once again. Hit that like button, leave a comment down below, subscribe to keep up to date with the channel. But uh, I'll uh, see you all next time. Cheers.